Hey everyone and welcome to this deep dive. You know how you've been thinking about maybe making some chess content? Mm -hmm. Like really thinking about turning that passion into, you know, an actual job. Yeah. Well, today we are diving deep, deep, deep into that very question. Can you make it as a chess content creator? Let's find out. We've got articles, we've got data, and even case studies like on actual chess creators. All right. And we're going to break it all down for you. Some made it big, others, well... Not so much. Yeah, not so much. But it's a question a lot of people are asking these days. You know, we've yeah. seen this huge, I mean, huge E surge in this whole creator economy thing. It's for sure. People from all walks of life are hoping to, you know, turn their passions into a paycheck. Right. And the world of chess, mm. it's no different, right? Right. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, especially with, you know, the pandemic kind of forcing everyone online. Oh, yeah. Everyone was playing chess online. Definitely. And then... And then you have the Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit. Oh, yeah. Right. That just, like, exploded. Huge. It feels like chess is having, like, a real moment. Totally, yeah. But I also imagine the competition is, I mean... Oh, it's fierce. It's got to be fierce. Cutthroat, even. One study I was looking at said there are over 200 million creators out there. Wow. All vying for, you know, eyeballs. Yeah. So... Even though chess is a niche, right? it's a crowded one. It's a crowded niche. Okay. So maybe not so easy, huh? Well, the exciting part is it's a growing niche. Okay. And you know what they say? Where well, there's growth. There's opportunity. Oppor okay. So there's hope for us chess nerds yet. Yeah. But, I mean, let's be real for a second. Okay. Yeah. We're not all Hikaru. No. We're not all Gotham chess. Right. Are those, like astronomical earnings typical i wish or are those guys like the exception not the rule yeah they're definitely outliers i mean you can't <clears throat> deny their success for sure it's inspiring right yeah it yeah. shows what's possible i mean you know hikaru he's pulling in an estimated wait for it okay. six hundred and thirty thousand dollars per year Luck. from streaming alone per year yes and Gotham Chess. Okay. Millions. Millions. Net yeah. worth somewhere in the millions. But okay. the important thing isn't just about the money. Right. It's about why they're successful. Right. What's the secret sauce? Yeah. Besides, you know, being ridiculously good at chess. Right. Right. Besides that. Well, for one, they're both super engaging. Yeah. Like they have these personalities that just draw you in. Yeah. And they connect with people. That's huge. Huge. And they're strategic. They're not just playing chess. They're entertaining, teaching. Right. Building a community around what they do. So it's about the whole package. Exactly. It's not just about how good you are at the game, which is kind of comforting. A little bit, yeah. But, you know, let's be honest. These are huge EE names. Right. Millions of followers. Yeah. What about those of us just starting out? Right. Can we really compete in this chess content game? That's the thing. You absolutely can. Yep. You don't need to be a grandmaster. Okay. You don't need millions of followers to carve out your space. Okay. There are tons of creators out there. Yeah. Smaller, dedicated audiences who are doing just fine. Okay. That's what I like to hear. So who are these, like, chess content heroes? Oh, there are a few. And what can we learn from them? Well, there's this one creator, Anna Cramling. Yeah. She's a great example of someone who's built a really successful channel by just like being herself okay being relatable she brings you along on her chess journey you know yeah shares the wins and the well the losses yeah the losses and you know what she's making bank doing it no kidding yeah an estimated thirty six thousand dollars a month whoa yeah okay that is awesome thirty six thousand dollars a month that's incredible just for like playing chess and being cool? Pretty much. Well, and for being really good at, you know, the whole content creation thing. Right, right. It's not just about playing chess. Exactly. So what about this Dina Balanzgaya? What's her story? So she's a bit different. Okay. She's really found her niche by creating, like, really high-quality instructional content. Okay. Especially around openings. Oh, openings. Got it. Yeah. Her videos are, like super clear concise you know mm -hmm. and she's amazing at explaining like really complex stuff yeah in a way that anyone can understand that's a skill yeah for sure and it pays off she's estimated to be earning somewhere between like five thousand to thirty thousand a month okay so those openings are really working out for her they really are that's amazing and it seems like both you know anna and dina mm -hmm. they both really highlight how important it is to find your niche like you were saying before a hundred percent it's not enough to just be like 
hey, I play chess, watch me, you yeah. gotta have an angle. An angle, right? Yeah, something unique that makes you stand out from, you know, the other million chess people out there. Right, right, right. So what's your angle? What are you bringing? Okay, are no. you all about the end games? Are you like the opening guru for beginners? Right. Or maybe you're like a total chess history nerd. Yeah. You know, with all these crazy stories. I, I love that. Find that thing. So it's about like figuring out what you're good at, what you're passionate about, and then, you know, finding that sweet spot where those things kind of overlap. And where there's an audience. Right. And where people actually want to watch it. Yeah. Okay. So you found your niche. What then? How do you go from you know, like casually posting chess videos to actually making this a thing? Well, consistency is key. It's better to start small and be consistent than to like burn yourself out. Right. Trying to create these super elaborate videos, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like that saying, done is better than perfect. Exactly. And don't underestimate the power of enjoying what you're doing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like your passion it really does shine through and it makes the hard work. Because it is work. Oh, it is work. Yeah. But it makes it feel way more rewarding. Yeah. Now that's super reassuring to hear, especially for someone like me who can definitely get like bogged down in the details. Oh, yeah. Trying to make it perfect right out of the gate. Perfection is the enemy of progress. Right. Okay. But let's talk about like the reality of the hustle for a sec. Okay. Yeah. Because I imagine even if you love chess, like editing videos, interacting with people, constantly coming up with new content. All the time. It can be a grind. It is, it is. So how do these people like manage the time commitment? Right. Is this like a full-time job? Is it a side hustle? Right. What does that actually look like? It's a good question. It really depends on how you want to approach it. Okay. But it's easy to get caught up in like, you know, the highlights. Right. You see these creators and you're like, oh, they're living the dream. Yeah. But you forget about like all the hours that go into it. Right. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Like even something as simple as a game recap. Right. You think about someone like Nakamura, right? Yeah. He can analyze a game like super fast. Oh, yeah. But even for him to film it, edit it, upload it, that still takes time. That's true. Yeah. I never really thought about it like that. But I don't know. It does make it seem a little bit more doable. You know? Right. Like if Nakamura is putting in the work. Exactly. Then maybe I can too. I always got to put in the time. Okay. But it also makes you realize how important it is to be efficient with your time. Oh, 100%. Mastering your workflow. That's essential. Workflow. Okay. Yeah. But the good news is there are tools for that now. Okay, good. Like video editing software. Lifesaver. Yes, for sure. And don't be afraid to, you know, bring in some help. Oh, right. Like... Collaborations. Collaborations. Two yeah. brains are better than one, right? Right. <laughs> Two chess brains. That's got to be better for chess content. Exactly. Bounce ideas off each other. Stay motivated. You can even like split the workload sometimes. That's a great idea. Okay. So we've talked about, you know, finding your niche in terms of like the type of content. Mm -hmm. But could you also find your niche with your audience? Oh, 100%. Okay, so like what, like cer a certain language, a certain region? Exactly. So there's this uh, WGM, Irene Sikandar. Okay. She's built a huge following creating chess content, specifically in Indonesian. Wow. Yeah, and her videos are getting like hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of views. See, this is what I love about these deep dives. Yeah. Never would have even considered that. But it makes so much sense. Right. There's a whole world of chess players out there who maybe aren't looking for like... English content? Yeah, you know? right. They want something specific to them. Yeah. Are there other people doing that, like yeah. focusing so local? Oh, yeah. There's this channel, X Chess Academy. Okay. They're based in Malaysia. Okay. And they focus on like local games, local players, that kind of thing. Okay. And they've tapped into like a really dedicated community. That's amazing. Okay. This is blowing my mind. So it's not just about playing chess. It's about like understanding the business of all of it. Right. You find your audience, you find your niche, you create the content. Mm -hmm. But then of course the big question, how do you actually make money from this? Right. Because we all got to pay the bills, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Passion doesn't always pay the rent, unfortunately. Unfortunately not. And relying on like ad revenue from places like YouTube or Twitch. Yeah. That can be a little risky. Okay. Yeah. So for those of us who don't have, you know, brand deals lined up. Right. Mm -hmm. What are our options? Well, you got to diversify. Okay. Think about what you can offer beyond just the videos. Okay, like what? Like coaching, for instance. Oh, yeah. A lot of people want to improve their game. 
Right. You can do like online lessons, mm -hmm. personalized game analysis. Oh, that's a great point. People are always asking me to analyze their games. There you go. I should start charging for that. See? Business mindset. Okay. Okay. I like it. What else? Merch. Merch. People love merch. Okay. True. You know, they want to wear their passions, literally. Okay. So like think chess themed apparel, accessories, okay. mugs. The possibilities are endless. Hold on. Are you telling me I could have my own line of chess merch? Why not? That's amazing. Right. That's that's a dream. Okay. What else? There's got to be more. Oh, there's always more. Another really popular option is like creating exclusive content for members. Ooh, okay. Members only. Yeah. So like think in-depth analysis videos, you know, Q&As. Okay. You could even have a private Discord where you give people feedback. Wow. Okay. So many possibilities. This has been incredibly helpful. Mm -hmm. So so anyone out there listening who like is fired up, right? Yeah. They're ready to like turn their chess love into an empire. Into a chess empire. Yes. What are the like key things to remember? Key things. Find your angle. Create great content. Do it consistently. Right. And don't be afraid to promote yourself. Promote me. Yeah. yeah. And 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 think of it like it's a business. Okay. You know, diversify that income, yeah. manage your time, be ready to adapt. Things change quickly. You really do, especially in the online world. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, man. So much to think about. This deep dive really has been like a game changer. I love it. Pun intended. Now, if you all excuse me, I've got some merch to design. Get to it. I will. I will. <laughs> Until next time, keep those brains sharp and those pawns moving.